Hello, Alexis Hartz here. Today, as promised, we are talking about dating apps for people over 50. How do you feel about that? I've tried a few with mixed results, but I know a lot of people that are married because of Match or eHarmony or maybe a couple others that I'm not super familiar with. But here's a list of 12 dating apps that might help you find love after 50. So our first app is Bumble. It is an app where women initiate the contact. They send the first message. So that makes women feel a little more comfortable. They're more in control and they can somewhat eliminate unwanted messages and unwanted advances. This is great for men looking for women who want to take charge. It is a swipe app, meaning that you swipe through pictures of potential mates and decide based on looks whether or not you're interested. It has a little bit of a personality survey which includes like musical artists and a few interests but it's not very deep in that. There's a monthly plan for $32.99. They have weekly subscriptions available and lots of add-on options. Also they have a lifetime subscription for $199. That's kind of an interesting feature. The next dating app is Tinder. Tinder I have heard of for a long, long, long time. It has a reputation of being an app that is used for light conversation and chats and casual hookups. Now they're trying to get away from that reputation, but it remains. However, for 50 year olds and older, it's a great way to connect in a more traditional way. So this is also a swipe based app, meaning you look through people and decide on looks, whether or not you like them or not. There's some additional profile details like age, gender, and a short biography, which could help you decide too. It's free to download and the payment system is tiered with adults over 30 paying more for their subscriptions. The next dating app is Date My Age. This is an app where you click on the profile image of the person and you will get an age. You'll get an age range for what they're looking for to date. You'll also get an about me section, which can be as long or as short as the person would like to input. And you get a city and a country where they live no state. So it could be Springfield, Missouri, Springfield, Massachusetts, Springfield, Illinois. You don't know. Date My Age is an app for people looking for serious long-term romantic relationships. There is some concern about clickbait in it. Naturally, you know, they all the scammers love to go after us 50 plusers. If you use a little common sense, you'll be okay. They also have features to send people virtual gifts. So these are all add-on features to your subscription. The subscription starts at $22.99 for the first month, then $69.99 after that. A little pricey. Next app is Coffee Meets Bagel. I had never heard of this one and it says it's the best dating app for serious relationships. It's designed to counteract the swiping apps and help users find a long-term match. According to my research, this app is not as great at matching people and their compatibility as other platforms and it limits the number of profiles you can see a day to five. Users have only seven days after they make contact to meet up in real life, so you're eliminating a lot of those opportunities for ghosting and delayed meeting. It's free to download and use the basic services, but there's upgrades, of course. They have a little bean system, so you earn beans and you spend beans same as money. So there's mini packages ranging from $9 to $20. The next app is Our Time and it's free to sign up and start browsing. Free users can't send messages but if you have a subscription you can read the profiles of the potential matches that you have and edit your own pro profile. 
This one also has the option to send virtual gifts like a picture of a rose or you can boost your profile for more options. Okay, just because it really pushes the R time 50 plus daters doesn't mean that there's not younger daters on there. So don't be surprised if you see that. A one month subscription starts at $30. Three month plans are $70. They give you a little break. Our next app is Silver Singles. Users are asked to fill out a 10 minute personality quiz based on your values, your interests, your lifestyle, your relationship preferences, and what you're looking for, and communication styles. And you are allowed up to five matches per day. This site claims 40% of the users are 50 plus, so you have a pretty good chance of getting in your age range. And it also provides a range of safety features. So there's no clickbait, you have a profile moderation, and scammer detection, and customer support as well. Uh, basic Silver Singles membership is free. Premium packages start at $24.95 for 12 months. The next one is match.com. It, <laughs> in my research, I found one site touting that this is the best dating app for someone with money to spend. I don't know how they figure out that, but we'll see. And according to AARP, this is the most popular app for singles between 50 and 64. Also, match offers a guarantee. If you don't find a serious relationship within six months, they will give you six months free. So on Match, you fill out a personality in and interest questionnaire and Match will curate the potential partners for you. Most of the communication features require a paid subscription. So seeing who you like, who your likes and matches are requires a subscription. Plans start at $22.99. Free members can't message anybody outside their recommended matches and will see plenty of ads. They also have a dedicated senior dating section on their website. The next app is eHarmony and we're all familiar with that. This app is the best dating app for marriage seekers because you know what they say, someone finds love every 14 minutes. So if you're looking for marriage, this might be the place for you. There are 80 questions to fill out, 80. Uh, the first time I did this questionnaire, I got about halfway through it and thought, how am I supposed to meet anybody when I don't even know myself? It's a good place to start just filling out the questionnaire. Helps you get a little clearer with everything else. All right, so the questionnaire covers your personality, communication styles, interest, you know, the usual. The least expensive plan starts at $7.95 a month. eHarmony also offers a guarantee. Theirs is in three months. You can find your perfect mate on eHarmony in the next 90 days. How does that make you feel? Just think about it. In 90 days, with a little bit of effort, actually a lot of effort. You know, you have to keep up on these. You have to plan some time on your in your day to look at your matches and respond back. Maybe some of you are like, oh, I can't stay away from it, but... You do have to spend time on any of these apps. All right, now we're on to Facebook dating. I didn't even know there was such a thing, Facebook dating. The way Facebook dating works is it pulls information from your profile and other social media accounts to create your profile on the Facebook dating platform. It is not connected to your Facebook page so you don't have to worry about that. And it does help that they create the profile, it makes it a little bit easier. Is Since it's able to crawl through your information and make your profile, it's also crawling through other people's information and offering matches of users who have groups or events in common with you. So they really try to do the best they can with AI to connect you with your best match. So whenever you like someone, there's no swiping. You either send them a heart or you can do an X button. 
if you want to skip someone. Once you're matched, you'll be notified and either person can send the first message. The Facebook dating app is free and it has no ads. So this might be a good entry point for those of you who haven't ever tried a dating app. The next app is Hinge. Hinge bases their platform and their matches on connecting users with similar interests and hobbies. So you have a personality questionnaire with likes and dislikes, and it also displays these interests prominently so you can see them in your matches. Again, you have a X to mark people out or a skip button at the bottom of each profile, which makes accidental profile rejections less likely. Apparently when you're swiping, it's easy to swipe by somebody and cross them off your list when you didn't mean to. Hinge's motto is designed to be deleted. So they're aiming for those people who are seeking a relationship rather than just a hookup. Their cost is $34.99 per month, $64.99 for three months, which makes it $21.66 per month, and $99 for six months. The preferred subscription allows you unlimited likes so you can just like 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 and see who likes you back the next app is christian mingle christian mingle is a dating service designed for single men and women looking for a god-centered relationship it features extensive profiles and sends potential matches to you every day but only up to seven they ask for your education level the type of Christianity you're practicing, whether you go to church or not, and how often. Not attending a church is not an option. You can set up your profile for free, but chatting with others requires a subscription, which start at $33 per month for six months. The next and final dating app we have to review today is Zoosk, Z-O-O-S-K. It doesn't require users to fill out their, all their profile information. They can pick and choose what they fill out, making long-lasting connections not as likely as short-term dating or hookups. You can sign up with your Google or Facebook account, but just be aware that you're gonna have some connections by doing that to other personal information and other social media accounts. In this app, you scroll through profiles instead of swiping, and you can use your paid subscription to unlock the ability to send messages to potential matches. Even if they send a message to you, you cannot reply to them without a subscription. Their pricing starts at $29.95 for one month or $10 per month for, with a year subscription. Zeus also offers a dedicated senior dating section on their website. All right, so there you have 12 dating apps to start your adventures in dating online. Which one is the best one? That's up to you. All of them offer a different option. They offer long-term and short-term relationships. They offer hookups. They offer just chatting. According to AARP, it's not just young people who are looking for love online. One in six Americans over 50 have tried a dating app. What kind of questions do you have? Leave me some comments. Tell me what you think. I'm kind of thinking that maybe I should throw a challenge out there. Like if I reach 500 subscribers in the next two weeks, maybe I'll offer to try one. What do you think? Would you like me to try one and which one? I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you find someone compatible in one of these options. Thanks for joining today. Please like and subscribe if you found value in this video and share it with others that might need this information. We all know some cranky single somewhere. Great talking to you. Thanks for joining me. Talk to you soon again. Bye.